Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another daily video. So we have been extremely busy and you know, you know, sometimes I say busy and it might not mean busy, but I have not been home for the last two weeks. I've had probably one of the craziest last couple weeks in my entire life and I'm going to break it all down for you right now. So let's hop into the video and let me explain how I have won $30,000 in the last couple weeks. Okay, so starting off with the monthly final, we actually decided that since it was such an important monthly final and because we had to do well, we were going to fly out to Dallas, which is where the server is that we play on in North America and get as good as ping and connection as possible. So we were in a pretty bad situation. Thankfully, we have a real Canadian here to break it down. So basically it goes as follows. There was a lot of situations where Vanguard would be the team going to Worlds. Um, we were on the same side of the bracket, so that actually did work in our favor. So there were two different ways in which we make worlds, which both, I mean, are pretty unlikely. Way number one is we win the entire monthly final. So this is something that's really hard to do. Um, in our career, I think we've only won six out of 22. So, I mean, it's possible, but I mean, the odds are definitely not with us. It's really difficult to win something like this, especially when you got other teams like Vatra and Tribe Gaming in your region who are both such, you know, insane teams. Um, or the lesser likely of the two is that if they lose round one, all we would have to do is make the finals. So thank you, Real Canadian, for kind of putting this in a nice little bingo looking graph for us. Uh, but those was the, that was the situation at hand. So first round we went against Reconic. Now we're pretty cool with the Reconic guys. They're a pretty good team. They've been pretty consistently within the top eight of North America. They're kind of yet to crack any like real big tournament wins or have the really big breakout tournament or win. Uh, but they're a really good team. We have to give them a lot of respect. And, you know, we faced them round one. Now, we played Shooting Star, which is a map that we're super comfortable with. Same as Kaboom Canyon. Kaboom was very close, but we managed to beat them 2-0 and move on to the semifinals, where presumably, presumably we would go on to face Vanguard. So round one, as you guys can see, they're facing my former teammate, former coach, you know, very, very good friend that I've had for a lot of years, Alec26. And Alec told me, he's like, I got you. Don't worry about this. I am going to beat them. Uh, I'm going to give it my all. And, uh, you know, sorry if I don't win, but I'm going to try my best. So he went out there. He wore his STMN jersey that he was given at the last LAN uh, because he was on our team, of course. And they actually won the first set. So there's been a lot of situations like this where another team... Beating, your, beating a team you're competing up against can help you out a lot. Believe me, there's always teams kind of rooting on the downfall or kind of cheering on other teams doing well. Uh, not because they're friends with them or anything like that, but because it would help them out a lot. And believe me, this would help us out a lot. So they won the first set. Things were starting to look kind of good. Everyone in chat was kind of going crazy. And then in goes the second set. And I'm going to be honest, Chepo, Alec, and Shine Slays, they are those guys. They absolutely destroyed Vanguard, you know, I'm not trying to put down Vanguard in any way. They're a very good team. Definitely deserve to go um, anywhere. But, I mean, they just got absolutely destroyed. And Alec ended up taking the W. And West Coast ended up beating Vanguard 2-0. So, because Vanguard didn't make the semifinals, that now made it possible that all we had to do to make Worlds is to make the finals. We didn't have to win it anymore. And that made things a lot easier because beating West Coast, and we've lost them before in very important matches, is a lot easier than winning the entire monthly final. So we went up against them in the semifinals, and for lack of better terms, we smacked them. We got the sweep. We were very motivated. We were very prepared to face the best teams possible. We were at our very peak of playing that we've probably been in all year. We were having very good connection in Dallas and we kind of just stepped all over them. No, no offense, you know, we're very thankful that they beat the team that we needed to lose. Uh, but it got over with kind of quick. And usually when you make worlds, it's it's like extremely like hype, crazy moment, uh, especially when you're in real life with your teammates. Uh, but it was a, it was a little bit, you know, kind of, Kind of quiet. It was weird because, you know, we, we expected to have to win the entire thing. And because we kind of got bailed out by Alec beating Vanguard first round, it didn't feel as special as it could. But it was definitely a great moment for us to make Worlds. And it was really awesome that we ended up making it. Now, moving on to the finals after we beat them, uh, we ended up facing Vatra. So Tribe lost first round to Obey. Big shout to Obey. They've been playing really good as of late. Former CMG, you know, my good friends. Um, and you know, they were really close to being in the finals, but in, 
was us versus Vatra. And every time we face Vatra, the last five times, it always goes down to double match point or set five. It just goes down to the very end every single time. Uh, it was a really good match. There was a lot of ups, a lot of downs. We won the first set, as you guys can see right now. It was a pretty close set, but we ended up playing it really well. They ended up winning the second set. Good job to Juan Carlos. He absolutely destroyed on his penny lane for like four straight games. He did a really good job. No offense to Zar. Not trying to put Zar down. Zar's the GOAT. We all know that. We moved on to Heist in the third set. And OG played one of the best sets. Probably, in, I don't want to say of his career. Because, you know, the importance may not have been there. But... This was the best set I've probably seen him play all year. He was clipping on 8-bit. He did an insane job. He did 40% damage as an 8-bit to other players on the map. Where 8-bit's, you know, main goal is trying to get damage on the safe. I'm sure if there was safe damage, he would be somewhere around 55% or something. Which is absolutely incredible for a 3-man team to be doing like 55% damage. But he played really well that set. We moved on to uh, Knockout where we probably should have won. You know, we definitely made a really big mistake. Uh, let Payne make a really good play with Brock. Then we moved on to the finals. Um, I got a Piper game in set five, which felt really good because I don't really get to play Piper that much. I played really good. Zar played really good. OG played really good. It was just a really fun moment, especially for me. Uh, I've been working really hard all year. I, you guys know I haven't been making YouTube videos too much compared to the years before or streaming that much compared to years before. Because it's been so hard to play competitive this year, and that's kind of where my heart lies a little bit. It's really fun, and I'm, you know, just a really competitive person. But getting that set five uh, win on Piper, playing good, and being with my teammates, it was a really feel-good moment. As you guys can see, we were super hyped, super happy, uh, and it just felt awesome to make Worlds, and that all the hard work we put in the last month really did pay off in the monthly final. So after that, we went out for a few dinners. Uh, Grabbed some food, enjoyed ourselves, went to David Buster's, had a good time. Actually, if any of you guys know this David Buster's game, I actually got the max prize, which is pretty crazy. Um, and we just enjoyed ourselves after our monthly finals win. You know, we wanted to take a day off, kind of just chill. We've all been away from home for like five days at this point. So we're, we all just, you know, want to eat well, relax, enjoy ourselves, have fun. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but that is not where the end of this video is. From there, we actually end up going on a plane from Dallas and we fly all the way down to South America or wherever Colombia is, I don't know, and we end up uh, in a show match versus Tribe Gaming. So, Colombia, you know, it's pretty far away from Canada. Canada's all the way on the top. Colombia is kind of all the way on the bottom. Um, so, I'm pretty far away from home. The food is not the same as it is at home. Nothing is the same as it is at home. Uh, but, you know, I was with my friends on my team. I was in, with my friends in my org and some of the people that are in my org. And then uh, Tribe Gaming, who we've actually grown, you know, a pretty good friendship with. Uh, you know, we are competitors and we have been competitors for a lot of years now. But mutual respect, you know, meeting each other tons of times by now. You know, we, we're kind of chill with them. We hang out with them. They're good people. Uh, and we try and get along as best as possible, given, you know, that we're competitors in basically every important competition. So we had a good time. We didn't play as much as we did in the monthly final because, you know, it was a match where if we lose, we get $10,000. If we win, we get $20,000. So there were high stakes and that is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But we were just happy we made Worlds. You know, Worlds is a really big deal and not making Worlds would have crushed us. So we were just really happy. We weren't, you know, scrimming as hard, practicing as hard. Uh, but, you know, it kind of worked out for us. So it was like a normal, you know, high stakes competitive match. It's a best of three per map and then a best of five modes. So, you know, kind of how it normally is. We start off in the first set in gem grab and we were actually down by a little bit. Uh, there was some Wi-Fi issues for both sides in this set, uh, mainly for tribe. So I just wanted to, you know, get that out there um, because, you know, I feel like it's important to say when someone, you know, has... A little bit of uh not unfair playing field but if something happens a pretty it's pretty important to you know let that be known that uh something did happen like if someone bots out or anything but anyways uh they were winning the set game three as you guys could see here as Livy got a little bit too aggressive um i could see why trying to make the play he was trying to not you know get too backed up by us but i did have my gadget shot with gus gus is you know i think the gadget so shot's kind of a little bit silly but we end up getting the kill Getting the gems. OG, it's a really nice mute on Tyrant Stew. And then we kind of just fall back, end up winning the game. And that was game three of the first set. So that was kind of the tone setter. Uh, I think losing a first set like that is really difficult. We've gone through something like that. Um, 
where I actually threw a set against Vatra uh, on the first one that we probably should have easily won. And then it was really hard for my teammates and myself to kind of bounce back from that. We did go to set five, didn't win, but I can, I know how that feels. It's a little bit tough. So uh, we ended up going onto the second set, which I think was safe zone. And on safe zone, I got some buzz gameplay. You know, OG was trying to, you know, downplay me a little bit, saying my buzz wasn't too good. It was an easy game. But you know what, OG? I played really good here. Uh, you know, buzz, it's kind of an easy brawler at some... It could look easy sometimes, but I actually think it's kind of a little bit of a difficult brawler in terms of, like, decision making. You know, sometimes you can make decisions that might cost games that, you know, I may have done one time. Uh, but the other two games, you know, I played really good. The whole team played really good, though. I'm just trying to pick on OG a little bit. Uh, it was really fun. We ended up taking a 2-0 lead after this set. And, uh, you know, just playing Buzz in general is really fun. So I was having a really good time on stage. We actually had Coach Fade with us, who Fade is on CMG slash Obey, whatever you want to call them now. Unfortunately, our coach couldn't come, so we brought Fade with us. Uh, and yeah, we were just having a good time and I got to impress Fade on the buzz. So that felt really good for set two. Then the next set was Brawl Ball. Now, I think we got a little bit out drafted here. Uh, we definitely could have won, but I didn't play my best. I don't think teammates also played their best, but I'll, you know, I'll blame myself for this one. Um, I don't know. They just drafted really good. They played really well as a team. I think our comp was winnable, but I don't think it was like the best comp in the world. And... You know, we tried our best, but they, uh, they, the other team, you know, they're really good. Tribe has run our region for a really long time. We might be on a little bit of a hot streak as of late, but uh, they've been doing well all year. The number one team in NA all year. And, you know, if they get a good comp and if they play well, it's it's hard to beat them no matter what. So they took this set. They played really well. Um, and, you know, we, you know, this could be a little bit of, you know, turning of tides almost. Like they can get a little bit of momentum. You know, we kind of just sat there after the set. We said... You know, we know he didn't play our best, but they had a really good comp. Um, let's, you know, not let them, you know, get this momentum. Let's just focus on the next set. Whatever happens, happens. And uh, the next set was out in the open knockout. So our comp for this, I liked it a good bit. Uh, we had Gene, Bonnie, and Gus. I feel like it kind of played to everyone's strength. You know, I really enjoy playing Gene. Uh, OG on the range brawler, you know, me and him always argue about who's team Gus, you know, because we both really like Gus. But truth is, you know, we're, we're both really good at Gus. Um, and I feel really comfortable when he's playing it because uh, just a brawler that he could do really well on and then we got Zar kind of on an aggressive brawler and Zar, um, you know, he may not have had as many kills this set, but the aggressiveness that he showed, you know, not get letting us get spawn trapped because the other team they had a really Really good comp. I don't think they Necessarily think it was that good, but I think they had a really really good comp where they can get a spawn trapped really easy uh, really easily and I think Zar was kind of the reason we weren't getting spawn traps you know he may not have gone so many like important kills but I think he was more or less the reason that we did really well this set uh one of the best gene sets I've played in a really long time gave me a lot more confidence on gene I hit all my pulls some of them most of them actually being really far and then OG honestly just played really well I don't know how he survived just staying alone on the right side as a gust the entire time but somehow he did uh, and that is where we, you know, clutched up and won the match, you know, GG's to the other team, Tribe again, obviously an insane team, uh, best team in our region for a really long time, but we were able to win that, um, and that extended our winning streak, we actually been doing really well, we've won, uh, ESL, Queso, um, I guess we went undefeated in quals, won the monthly finals, and won the show match, so we're on a really nice streak, um, and after winning that, you know, we were kind of just on cloud nine a little bit uh, We won the monthly finals three days later. We win this match for twenty thousand dollars That's a total of thirty thousand dollars right there two days before that or something We won queso, which is another two and a half thousand dollars So we we've been doing really well and uh, we want to bring this momentum into worlds uh, I had a really a really really fun time in Colombia, in Dallas, whatever, you know It was kind of hard being away from home from that long, but part of the job i had a lot of fun thankful that my teammates are my good friends and they're you know good people and it just it makes everything a lot better but yeah i had a lot of fun those are my last two weeks kind of summarized for you guys um again i apologize that my youtube content has not i know it hasn't been good but you know we're we're making our way back there we have worlds coming up in a month and then after worlds we have a really nice vacation off of brawl stars so I'll, or well, I guess off competitive Brawl Stars. So I'll definitely make sure to get some Worlds content, as much content as I can get out there before Worlds. And then after that, don't worry, we will get some prime Bobby BS on YouTube. But uh, for now, holy camera. For now, it's going to be it. Appreciate you guys watching the video and sticking with me and all of that. Uh, thank you to Fudge and, you know, everyone who helps me out on YouTube. I will be back. We're going to get this rolling. And thank you for the support, everyone. I will see you guys soon. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. 
Have you ever wanted to be the best, the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.